Now it's time for the Terrier Group. Please welcome from Sperryville, Virginia, Mrs. Karen C. Wilson. Our steward for the Terrier Group is Mr. Carl Ashby III. May we have the Terrier Group, please? Terriers, terriers, and more <laughs> terriers. It's going to take a while to get all 31 of them in this ring. In the next of the last of the groups to fill out the list for best in show, working group coming up a little bit later on as well. Terriers ready to go here. Karen Wilson, the judge from Virginia, will oversee this group and work her brain and use all her judgment skills to pick the best. And Judge Wilson, who began in dogs in 1966 with an Airedale Terrier, has bred Airedales, Karen Terriers, and Irish Setters. She was always an owner handler herself. And she's doing what we customarily see. The judges is walking down the line to get an initial impression, see what's in the ring. A good way to start collecting your thoughts. It's a hard job to sort through 31. She Excellent was, dogs. She was smart, too. Flats, no heels. It's a long yes, walk all the yes. way around here. Very, very smart. <laughs> <laughs> Noisy. They're happy barking. <laughs> Thank you. May I have the first dog, please? Thank you. And we're ready to roll. Airedale Terrier. Developed near the Air River in Yorkshire, England, Airedale Terriers are the largest of the terrier breeds. A cross between the early black and tan terrier and the otter hound, they were bred to hunt foxes, badgers, and the like. Airedales love to make friends with people, and one of their greatest joys is playing with children. This is Airedale Terrier number eight. You mentioned Karen Wilson has worked with this breed. This is Jesse. Do you? I think you get a little bit more in-depth look of this dog from a judge that's really worked with them hand in hand? I think that you have a slightly more critical eye and also more confidence in the breeds that you've owned yourself. Uh, I don't think that that weighs heavily when you come down to pointing, one, two, three, or four, but yeah, this is Jesse. Carrie Blue Terrier. Developed in the rugged mountainous area of County Kerry, Ireland, from which they take their name, hard-working Kerry Blue Terriers have been used as ratters, hunters, guards, and to herd sheep and cattle. They even have been used as police dogs in England. The blue in the, his name comes from the color of their soft and silky coat. This is Kerry Blue Terrier number 21. And this is Stone. Beautiful name, beautiful dog. Young dog, about two and a half years of age, handled tonight by Tracy Sars. This dog was winner of best of breed at the Montgomery County Kennel Club Dog Show this past fall, Thanks, which is the, the world's Thanks. largest terrier show. And you defeated 105 carry blues that day. Some stiff competition there and here at the national championship. Soft-coated Wheaton Terrier. Although medium in size, soft-coated Wheaton Terriers are still one of the largest terriers. Alert and steady companions, they combine a happy outlook with a courageous spirit. 
The breed has been known in Ireland for more than 200 years and is possibly the forerunner of the Kerry Blue Terrier. Wheaton served as herding and Thanks, guard sir. dogs and undertook the typical terrier duties of rat control. This is soft-coated Wheaton Terrier number 12. This is Gabby, and if you want to get on Gabby's good side, bring steak. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> <laughs> She's herded duck and sheep. You knew terriers could herd. It's pretty impressive. And this dog has Thanks, a sir. soft coat. Most please. terriers have a wiry coat. It has a soft coat, but it does require a lot of grooming. The coat mats, so you need to brush it a lot. Good evening. American Staffordshire Terrier. American Staffordshire Terriers combine the best qualities of the two breeds from which they were derived. The spirit and the gameness of the terrier and the courage and boldness of the bulldog. Bred to be fighting dogs in the 19th century, the Amstaff is by nature a calm and quiet dog Thanks, who sir. loves his family with all his heart and guards them just as dearly. This is American Staffordshire Terrier number 31. And this has been the number one Amstaff. Last couple of years goes by the name of Flash. <laughs> this breed is very protective, but they're also natural clowns and they have a great affection for their families. They're strong and determined. Thank you, sir. Take him around, please. That fits, as owners say, when out in public, Flash is very outgoing and the biggest mooch. <laughs> Irish Terrier. Nicknamed the Daredevil, the Irish Terrier is a loyal and friendly dog. Deeply devoted to their owners, owners, they have enthusiastic playmates and guardians of children. One of the oldest of the Terrier breeds, the Irish bears many similarities to the Airedale, Welsh and Wire Fox Terriers, and is every bit as smart and quick. This is Irish Terrier number seven. Another top dog at his breed, McCallan. Great Irish name. <laughs> Absolutely fills the bill. Mm. Multiple best in show winner, the number one Irish Terrier for the last three years running. Multiple national specialty winner. Shown by professional handler Christ Christian Rangel. You saw his wife, Jenny, earlier with the Brussels Griffon. Colored Bull Terrier. There are two varieties for the Bull Terrier breed, the colored, as seen here, and the white. The breed's origin dates back to about 1835. Strong, muscular, and active, this breed is full of fire, but sweet of disposition. In accordance with the standard, the colored variety must be any color other than white, or any color with white, just as long as the white does not predominate. This is colored Bull Terrier number nine. We heard that description. Clint fills that role with kind of the white in the front, a couple of other spots. This is another breed that's very strong, very athletic, has this classic egg-shaped head. It's a hallmark of the breed. Thanks, ma'am. Around, please. Clint is the number two bull terrier. His full name, including Dirty Harry, hence <laughs> Clint, Clint Eastwood. White Bull Terrier. Good evening. Except for color, White Bull Terriers share an identical standard with the colored. Their standard states that their color is white, though markings on the head are permissible. Any markings elsewhere on the coat are to be severely faulted. This is the White Bull Terrier, number six. Summer, the White Thank Bull. You. Up and back, just part way if you like. So same standard as the colored Bull Terrier except for just the requirement it has to be almost oh, mostly white. It's allowed to have a little splash of color, like here on the ear, but all white. Laura King, the handler here for summer. Thank you, ma'am. Take him around, please. She's a cutie. <laughs> Her, sorry. <laughs>
Staffordshire Bull Terrier. The coal miners of Staffordshire, England combined the Bulldog with a small terrier similar to the Manchester Terrier. The result was the Staffordshire Bull Terrier that we know today. They are dogs of high intelligence who are obedient and possess great courage. Staffordshire Bull Terriers are sweet-tempered, affectionate dogs who respond well to training. This is Staffordshire Bull Terrier Thanks. number seven. Phil Briasco, one of the co-owners and the handler here, started in the sport in 1965 with Great Danes and now has Quinn here, this beautiful Staffordshire Bull Terrier. This is a multiple best in show, best in specialty show winner. Thank you, take it around. Please. Number one Staffordshire Bulldog for four years. He's defeated more Staffordshires in the United States than any other. 2300 and always owner handled. Rat Terrier. The Rat Terrier is a multi purpose companion dog originally bred to hunt rodents and varmint. He is a sturdy, compact, small to medium sized, party colored dog, giving the appearance of elegance and athleticism. His short, smooth coat requires regular brushing. The Rat Terrier is loyal and active and loves being a member of his human family. This is Rat Terrier number 19. And another top flight dog with a great pedigree, the most successful Rat Terrier in the history of the breed, Traveler. This is a breed that's very new to AKC, was first recognized or registered in 2013. It's a sturdy, and athletic breed. They're usually friendly with other dogs. <laughs> Fun trick for Traveler is retrieving champagne corks. Thank you, sir. A lot of champagne going on there. <laughs> Might be if you hear his name called a little bit later yeah. on. Someone's going to be popping some champagne tonight. Bedlington Terrier. Taking their name from the English mining town of Bedlington, these gutsy terriers' most distinctive feature is their curly, woolly coat. The Bedlington Terrier is sometimes described as having the head of a lamb and the heart of a lion. Neither fussy nor mischievous, the Bedlington appears outwardly calmer or milder than some other terriers. Loving and with a big heart, they make a lively playmate for children. This is Bedlington Terrier number 14. A little extra primping there for Blue Sapphire. Elegant name for this elegant looking dog. These are lovely dogs. They are, they do appear very quiet, but when they get to do their job, they're feisty little terriers like all the rest. They're bet, bred for great speed, and you see they have a curved back like some of the faster hounds we've seen, like a Whippet or a Greyhound, and that Structure helps them be very speedy. Standard Manchester Terrier. Sleek and tidy, Manchester Terriers are the picture of elegance in a small dog. Always black and tan, the standard variety should be over 12 pounds but not exceed 22. The Manchester has a quick protective nature, very much a part of the family. They are happiest with gentle children and are deeply attached to them. This is Standard Manchester Terrier, number 15. Thank you, ma'am. And this is Apollo, and he is on stage right now. <laughs> number two, all breed Manchester. Finished his championship with two group ones, and he was winner's dog at the 2013 National. Very energetic little breed. We saw the Toy Manchester last night Thank in the toy group. Take them around, please. An economy of movement there in that bouncy step. Yep. Miniature Schnauzer. One of the few Hi. terriers not Hi. created in Great Britain. The Miniature Schnauzer was developed in the late 19th century in Germany. The breed was originally bred to be a small farm dog, able to go to ground for various varmint. They are devoted and playful. Their special dignity shows in their whiskered face. This is Miniature Schnauzer, number 19. Mexico, 
a Mexican champion and a best in show winner as well. It's a very highly adaptable breed, very sturdy and strong. Like most of the wired hair terriers, they don't shed. Their coats required to be stripped or pulled because the hair keeps growing on these, the wiry terriers. Andrew Peel handling the dog here. Another look for Karen Wilson, our judge from Virginia. Border Terrier. Border Terriers get their name from the border area between England and Scotland. Alert and plucky, they were developed especially to catch the foxes that stalked farmers' livestock. Most interested in being with their owners, boarders are good-natured and loving companions who are always eager for praise. This is Border Terrier number six. Thanks. Cinder has a handful of best in shows, all breeds, seven of them. Being handled tonight by her breed, uh, breeder owner handler, Karen Fitzpatrick. Seven best in shows. To her credit, number one border terrier last year. Little extra swerve before <laughs> heading down to the end of the line. Nice Smooth fox terrier. The fox terrier is an old English breed originally bred for the sport of fox hunting. For almost 100 years, they were registered and shown in the United States as one breed with two varieties, smooth and wire. However, in 1984, the American Kennel Club approved separate standards, officially making them two distinct breeds. This is the Smooth Fox Terrier, number 43. Well, no rest for our winner just a little while ago in the veteran dog class. That is Dodger, ready to go one more time. That's right, and owner... Amy Rodriguez. And the veteran, of course, can also be entered in the other categories. Absolutely. They have to compete. At first, they compete in the veteran class, and then the winner of the veteran class goes in to compete for best of breed, so is eligible for best of breed. Dodger, who was the number one dog in America in 2010, number one dog in Brazil in 2011, with 184 best in shows. <laughs> Wire Fox Terrier. Believed to be the slightly younger of the two breeds, this English breed was used for hunting fox. He should be hardy and full of energy. This is the Wire Fox Terrier, number nine. Well, Rebecca Cross, if you haven't been with us the last couple of nights, has thrilled the crowd here at the Orange County Convention Center with raucous renditions of our national <laughs> anthem. And she's multi-talented as she leads Stryker right now, the Wire Fox Terrier. Very impressive. Stryker is a multiple best and specialty show winner. Top five wire in the country. Thanks, man. Around, please. Well, if Stryker catches the eye here of Karen Wilson, maybe Rebecca will be singing another happy <laughs> tune here at the end of the well, night. She's got the voice for it, that's for sure. Welsh Terrier. Bred to hunt otter, fox, and badger, Welsh Terriers are delightful companions, always looking for action and entertainment. They look similar to their cousin, the Lakeland, though slightly stockier. They also resemble the Airedale, though the Welsh is smaller. Originally, this breed was known as the Old English Terrier, or Black and Tan Wire-Haired Terrier. This is Welsh Terrier, number 18. This is Jenny, number one Welsh Terrier. 39 best in shows, 173 group firsts. Currently the number seven all-breed dog in America. We've alluded to 
throughout our coverage this weekend. 17 of the top 20 dogs yep. in the United States are here competing in this AKC Yukonuba National Championship this weekend. It is a stacked field in every group. The best of the best come here to compete. Thank you, sir. Take That's a beautiful place. pose. Wow. Mm hmm. I got goosebumps, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even hear a photographer <laughs> so, say cheese. Every once in a while, I get goosebumps. Good evening. Australian Terrier. One of the smallest of the terriers, Australian Terriers were developed in the harsh conditions of the Australian outback, where they served as ratters, sentinels, and even as sheep herders. Ready for any situation, Aussies consider themselves part of the family and get along well with other animals and with children. This is Australian Terrier, number 21. And this is Izzy, number one of the breed a couple of years ago. And certainly a factor tonight, winning that breed title here at the National Championship. It's kind of an all-purpose terrier in Australia. It killed snakes and rats. It herded sheep and geese. It would sound alarm for intruders. Thank you, sir. Take them around, please. They always look like they're smiling to me. <laughs> Lakeland Terrier. Lakeland Terriers originated in the beautiful Lake District in northern England. Farmers often gathered their hounds along with a group of Lakelands to deal with foxes that were stealing their chickens. Frisky, feisty, and fun. They love to be the center of the owner's lives. This is Lakeland Terrier, number five. Frisky, feisty, and fun. Sounds like a pretty good combination for the Lakeland Terrier, for Harry here. He knows that. It's the Thank number you. one Lakeland Terrier in the country. Multiple best in show winner. Another small, steady farm terrier. That's very pretty, too. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Take them around. It's popping right into the proper form. Exactly. Parson Russell Terrier. Originating in southern England nearly 200 years ago, Parson Russell Terriers were developed as a fox hunting breed. Known in this country as early as the 1930s, the Parson Russell is a terrier among terriers. Buoyant and intelligent, determined and relentless. They are endowed with the inability to quit and no capacity to feel fear, regardless of the odds or consequences. This is Parson Russell Terrier, number six. And this is Harper, number one Parson Russell Terrier in the AKC standings. One at the Great Western Terrier Association and Montgomery County Kennel Club. National, their national specialty was held there. The winner of that this year. Russell Terrier. Originating in England and developed in Australia, the Russell Terrier is a feisty, energetic dog bred to hunt fox and find varmin below ground. These small, playful dogs are confident and highly intelligent. Russell Terriers are devoted family companions, doing best with families with an active lifestyle. Their weatherproof coat requires minimal grooming beyond brushing and occasional bathing. This is Russell Terrier, number 15. Thank you, sir. Lexi. Excuse me, that is not Lexi. Lexi is up next. The Cairn Terrier. This is the Russell Terrier. Getting a little workout. <laughs> First recognized by AKC in 2002. They're very happy little dogs. They love their people, but they need to be busy.
They're supposed to be sturdy and algebra. Karen Taylor, Terrier. The Karen Terrier is so closely related to the Scottish and West Highland White Terriers that they often used to come from the same litters. Earlier in their histories, the types were defined as different from each other, other by color only. Though small, Karens are not much for the pampered life. They prefer to explore and play lively games and can be equally happy in the city or on the farm. This is Karen Ta Terrier, number eight. And this is Lexi. <laughs> and interesting, when you have another handler working with a dog, when you've got a handler that has multiple dogs in this class. Right, so this is the number one Karen Terrier, being so shown by Simon Same. He is an assistant for Gabriel Rangel, who is in the ring with a Scotty. So sometimes if you show more than one breed and you win, you can't show two at once. <laughs> and Gabriel has at least three by my count in this category. He's a very, very successful terrier handler. Good evening. Hi. Hello. How you doing? The Glen of Amal Terrier. Glen of Amal Terrier was initially developed to rid the home and farm of vermin, Beautiful as bite. well as to hunt badger and fox. Game and spirited with great courage when called upon, the Glen is otherwise gentle and docile. Although generally less easily excited than other terriers, the Glen is always ready to give chase. This is Glen of Amal Terrier, number 15. And this is Ned, very successful dog of this breed. I'll say he's the top winning Glen of Amal of all time. He's got a best in show to his credit. He is from Finland. He won the Helsinki World Dog Show in 2014. Best of breed at Westminster this year. National specialty winner. Thank you. Take him around. This is a very rare breed. But they're they're wonderful. So many breeds to choose from here. Miniature Bull Terrier. The miniature bull terrier is in every way except size exactly like the bull terrier. Descended from the bulldog and the white English terrier, bull terriers were meant to at first to be tough fighting dogs. That quality never spoiled their love of people, though. A little bundle of strength, the mini bull requires a firm, confident owner who is consistent in enforcing the rules. This is miniature bull terrier number seven. <laughs> so we saw a trio of bull terriers before and now the mini bull. They're born show-offs. They come in many colors. They're supposed to be very alert and curious. Same classic egg-shaped head that you see in the standard size bull terriers. There's a little of that <laughs> show-offness. Exactly. Thanks. Take them around, please. Scottish Terrier. With their heavy whiskers and eyebrows and short body, Scottish Terriers are one of the oldest and most instantly recognizable of the Terriers. Playful as puppies, they grow into dignified adults. They are likely to become attached to one person and lead a life of quiet dignity dedicated to that companion. Despite their sometimes reserved nature, the Scotty remains a true Terrier. This is Scottish Terrier number 18. And this is Magic, Thanks. the number one Scotty, multiple best in shows. Magic is the daughter of Sadie, who was best in show at the AKC Yukonuba National Championship back in 2009. Sadie actually recently passed away, but here Magic is following in her footsteps. Talked about those handlers juggling duties. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Sky Terrier. Growing up in the rugged lands of Sky, a northwestern Scottish island, Sky Terriers were a hardworking rodent exterminator for hundreds of years. Their glossy, flowing coat, which may cause it to look like a dog of luxury and privilege, in reality served them as protection not only from the damn cold, but also from the bite of the animals that they pursued. This is Sky Terrier number nine. Good time, Charlie. Yeah, I've been having a good time as the number one terrier here in 2014. That's right. He's number four all breed dog. Number one Sky Terrier of all time. 43 best in shows. He's owned by Victor Malzoni and Craig's Moore Kennels. So one of the top five dogs in the country, number one in this breed. And Charlie hang on to the crown here. I hear he has a favorite treat or toy. Oh, his favorite toy is a stuffed alligator. It goes Thanks, everywhere sir. he goes. Handler Larry Cornelius doing a great job. Might be gator time for Charlie if he gets a win later. <laughs> Dandy Dinmont Terrier. Hailing from the same hilly border between Scotland and England as the Border Terrier, Dandy Dinmont Terriers get their name from a character in Sir Walter Scott's 1814 novel, Guy Mannering. Dandies are one of many terrier breeds to be bred to be hunting otter and badger this delightful and entertaining dog is a clown as well as a faithful companion. This is Dandy Dinmont Terrier, number 22. And this Dandy goes by Angie, short for Angelina, the see. ballerina there. <laughs> Multiple best in show and specialty winner. Yeah. After eight years of age and two litters, she's back in the ring. That little ballerina still got some spring in those toes. Very unique shape for a terrier. It's a ser series of curves. Thank you, sir. Take her around, please. West Highland White Terrier. The West Highland White Terrier is one of the Scottish breeds of terriers. Originally differentiated by their color alone, the Westie is all terrier, a large amount of Scottish spunk, determination, and devotion crammed into a small body. Outdoors, they are truly sporty. In the house, they are all that can be desired of a pet. This is West Highland White Terrier, number six. Thank you, sir. CC. Alfonso Escobedo with the handling duties. Showing for Paula and Charles Cohen. This is the number one Westie in America right now. Westminster best of breed winner. A little shout out to Charles. Been in the hospital for surgery. You, watching around, tonight. Certainly best wishes going to him. CC maybe will make him feel a little bit better. <laughs> Probably does all the time regardless That's of a right. win tonight or not. Chesky Terrier. Intelligent and full of energy. The Chesky Terrier was developed in the Czech Republic and bred to hunt vermin, fox and badger. They are active dogs that can be reserved with strangers. The Chesky sports a soft, long, silky coat in shades of gray, which requires monthly clipping to stay in good form. They are loyal, gentle, and patient by nature, making them a good family pet. This is Chesky Terrier, number 11. And this is Jilly, Tim Smith, placing the dog back down and ready to get to work. Tim is an owner handler. This dog is one of the terriers that has a soft coat, so again, it's not stripped but clipped. Thanks. A new breed to AKC, just registered in 2011. Good look at that view. Uh, Chile heading to the end of the line. 
Norfolk Terrier. Norfolk Terriers, Norfolk and Norwich Terriers, were once considered the same breed. Disagreement by breeders as to whether the dog should have prick or drop ears resulted in the creation of two breeds. Those with drop ears became the Norfolk Terrier. Though most Norfolks today are companions for people, they are natural rodent and varmint hunters. This is Norfolk Terrier number nine. Thank you, sir. Part way up and back, please. Winston, relative newcomer. He's just starting his career, being shown by the great terrier handler, Peter Green. Winston is the great-grandson of Coco, who won Best in Show at the 2003 AKC Yukonuba National Championship. What's interesting is this is the first dog that Peter Green, it's his own personal dog. So it's the first dog which he's raised from puppyhood to a show dog. Thank you, sir. No and this worries. gentleman has shown hundreds and hundreds of terriers. Got to be a little extra special. Mm -hmm. Had that chance to win tonight. Norwich Terrier. Good evening. The Norwich Terrier, the prick-eared breed, developed in England in the late 19th century from a variety of working terriers. Valued for their small size, the Norwich is quick, sharp, and ever-moving. Fond of children, they make loyal, affectionate companions. <laughs> this is Norwich Terrier number 19. Busy. They're all on. <laughs> okay. And Robbie, the Norwich Terrier, is our last and final of the 31 Terriers that Karen Wilson will have to choose from. Robbie tonight is being shown by Andrew Green, who just happens to be Peter Green's son. He's a gold grand Thank champion, you. a multiple Come best in specialty winner, best of breed at Montgomery County Kennel Club. Won at the World Dog Show in Budapest, Hungary. So this should be an interesting cut yeah, decision. This is a lot of beautiful terriers to sort through. So do you have a favorite terrier? Wire Fox was very nice. Mm -hmm. I have the AM staff out here, please. We're going to pull out the AM staff terrier. <laughs> may I have the border, please. May I have the smooth? Border terrier, smooth fox terrier, the Welsh terrier. May I have the Karen, please? Here goes the Lakeland Terrier, the Karen Terrier, the Miniature Bull Terrier, the Sky Terrier, the Dandy Dinmont, and the Norfolk. Let's take them around one at a time. Take them one time around, one at a time. Cinder, the border. Here comes Dodger, the smooth fox terrier. Looking for the double is Dodger. <laughs> That's right. There's Welsh terrier, top 10 all breed dog. Here comes the Lakeland. Karen Terrier. Miniature Bull Terrier. Ah, Sky Terrier seems to be a favorite in the crowd. And a top five dog all breed and country. The Dandy Dinmont and the Norfolk, the final two making the cut.
Now Judge Wilson will announce fourth through first place. We will begin with fourth place. Fabulous lineup of dogs this evening. Uh, it's a pleasure to be able to adjudicate this wonderful collection of terriers. Please all notice the superior quality that we have here tonight. Fourth place, the Karen Terrier. So the Karen Terrier takes fourth. Thank you. Lexi, the Karen. Third place, the Smooth. Smooth Fox Terrier Dodger getting group third tonight. And he won the veteran category earlier. Second place, the Border Terrier. There's Cinder, the Border Terrier. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, God. Thank you so much. And the winner of this great collection of dogs, the Sky Terrier. There we go. Charlie the Sky Terrier does it. Adds to his collection of wins a group at the AKC Yukonuba National Championship. Now the number one terrier in 2014 does it again. Mrs. Wilson has chosen group first, the Sky Terrier, second, the Border Terrier, third, the Smooth Fox Terrier, fourth, the Cairn Terrier. So Charlie, the champ here, in this Terrier category, six of the seven spots for best in show are filled. Only one spot remaining.